On this week's two minute tip, we're doing the weave. The Florida weave that is. Today I'm gonna to show you two different ways to do the Florida weave to trellis your determinate tomatoes. So a couple two minute tips ago, we showed you how we put the stakes between each plant to set up for our Florida weave. And today we wanna to run our first line of string for this trellising technique. So the Florida weave basically works like this. You start off with your roll of string or twine and you tie it on the end of the T-post that's on the end of the row. And then you just weave it between the plants as you go along the row there. So the first plant you come to, you'll have the string on one side of that plant. Then you'll wrap around that next post and you'll put the string on the other side of the next plant and keep alternating as you go along the row. Once you get to the end of the row, you're just gonna come back and do the same thing, but putting the string on the other side of each plant. So you have a nice set of string there on each side of that plant stem that's gonna support it when it gets those fruits when you start getting a lot of wind. Now we can do that two different ways. We can do it with this cotton twine here or we can do it with this poly twine here. And I wanna show you how both of those work. On the cotton twine, there's 185 feet per roll. So if you're just doing a few or a short row, this might be your best option here. The benefit to the cotton twine is that it is biodegradable. So you don't necessarily have to remove it. It will biodegrade naturally in the soil. The poly twine here is a nice, strong commercial grade stuff that's not gonna stretch. Now it's not biodegradable, so you will have to remove it once your tomato plants are done. But with this box, you get over a mile of twine. And so you can do a lot of tomatoes year over year with this twine here. And I've had this box for about five years now. You can see it's pretty beat up, but I patched it up and we're still going strong. With the cotton twine, you're gonna be bending over, you're gonna be holding the roll with one hand and then keeping the string tight with the other hand as you weave it between those plants and wrap around those stakes. With the poly twine, it's a little more of an advanced technique, but it's gonna be easier on your back than the cotton twine is because you don't have to bend over. So on the box of poly twine here, you've got a nice little belt opening there. So you can put this on your waist, run your belt through it, and you don't have to hold the box of twine as you work along the row. Then you take a small piece of PVC pipe like this. I like mine to be about three, three and a half foot long. The length of the pipe is probably gonna be dependent on your height. But this pipe is gonna allow you to stand up straight and guide that string in between those plants and around those stakes without having to bend over. The pipe is also gonna help you keep that string tight. And when you're doing the Florida weave, keeping that string nice and tight as you're working along the row is really important. So I put this box here, cause I'm right-handed on my left side there, and I'll feed the string with my left hand and I'll hold the pipe with my right hand. And that allows me to keep everything really tight. So I get a nice, really tight Florida weave there that's gonna hold up those plants. So choose the twine option that's right for you. If you like the biodegradable small roll of twine, go with this cotton here. If you like the bigger roll, it's gonna last you a few years and you can do that back saving technique like I showed you, go with the poly twine. I'll put some links below to both of these so you can check those out. I hope you enjoyed this week's two minute tip. We'll see you next week.